Hey guys, it's Mr. Wahido Hak here back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Cubot Echo. I'd like to thank Cubot for sending this out to me for unboxing and review. I'm going to go ahead and open this. I don't have scissors on me, but we'll go ahead and see. It came in an Amazon package by the way. Because it's, it is from Amazon. There's a link in my description if you want to buy it from Amazon. Wow, look at that. It's already shining and stuff. It looks amazing. I normally have my scissors on me, but I don't today. Actually, I might do. I have it. There you go. Very nicely packaged. Thank you, Cuba, again for sponsoring this video. Nothing else in the box. Package of me. Alright, so this is the Cuba Echo. It looks amazing already. There's a bit of squishiness there, but that's not a problem. Alright, so look at the box itself. It's a very nice premium box. It's like a bronze colour and then you got this uh the main selling point of this phone is the speaker. So that's why you got all this uh, sound stuff here. And everything feels good, you can actually feel like a different texture of the phone on the stuff. And then this is a uh, different colours of the rainbow I think. Uh yeah, it's like a reflective thing. Echo music phone, big speaker, perfect sound. So the best selling point is the sound. Stop following, take the lead. That's a nice motto. It looks really nice at the moment. And uh, yeah, this is the black color, by the way. You can also get it in white and uh, rose gold, I believe. Let's look at the back. All right, so we've got some uh, specifications here. This is the cubot.net. That's the website. Go check that out. All right, so the display is a 5 inch HD 720p only, though. IPS screen, which is all right. For the price you're paying for this, it's all right for what you're getting. You get a quad core MediaTek processor that's clocked at 1.3 GHz and it runs on Android OS. I believe it's a 6.0 or 7.0, so it is quite late. Just, it's quite new. So this version actually has 2 gigs of RAM, which is good, really good. The older versions have uh, 1 gigs of RAM and stuff like that, like the Cubot Rainbow, the first edition. And it comes with 16 gigs of uh, internal memory, which is good. And you can put a memory card into, into it, which takes up to 128 gigs. Uh, the camera is 13 megapixel at the back and 5 megapixel at the front. Holy crap. Now it says 5 megapixel at the front. Even my Note 4 that I'm recording with now doesn't even have that. My Note 4 has 3 megapixels. That's really good for the front camera. Alright uh, guys, let's go ahead and unbox this. Are you ready guys? Shall we do another angle? Are you ready guys? Whoa. Look at that guys. You get like a cover on it as well. Let's go ahead and take this out. I'm not sure which corner to take it out from this corner maybe there you go and then you got some installation guide we'll have a look at that in a second have a look at the main device first all right so it comes uh, wrapped in this sticky thing let's take that off it's protective film i think wow look how nice this phone looks guys the pictures don't do it justice and you got this protective case with it which is very nice i think it has a screen protector and yeah it does I'm not a fan of screen protectors, so I will be taking that off later, but for the review, I'll keep it on for now. Alright, let's go ahead and take this out. Wow, this is very difficult to get out, because it's a very good case. Alright, so the phone is quite thick. Whoa, look at the texture on the back of the case. Looks amazing. I'm actually going to use it without the case, I think. And uh, there's another big selling point of this phone. It's uh, that the phone is indestructible. I will give you a demonstration of that, the phone screen I mean. You see that? Indestructible. It's the next Nokia guys. <laughs> Not a single scratch on that. It's amazing isn't it? Alright, so this is the phone itself. Very nice. Uh, actually, people have said it's a lot thicker. It doesn't seem that thick to be honest and it's quite light as well. So I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nice. Alright, so we've got the camera here, the 5 megapixel one at the front. That's the speaker, not the main one, but the earpiece. I think that's a proximity and the LED. LED actually might be somewhere. I'm not sure. I'm sure this did have a LED button, the LED light, I mean. Uh, this is the three buttons, soft keys. Nothing on that side. We've got the volume up and down button, the power button. Bottom doesn't have much. There's just a microphone there. And yeah, I like the design of this. It's very nice. Uh, you got a headphone jack there and uh, the USB port there 
the micro USB charging port there. All right, let's move on to the back. There's the 13 megapixel camera, I think it was. And you got a flash as well, which is very nice. Look at that. Look how it fits into the design. It's so nice. How amazing does that look? And you got the speaker cut out here. And it's like cutting the shape of a uh, music waves. It's very nice. All right. So let's move that aside. See what else is inside here, guys. All right, so we've got installation here. So this is how you install it. Open the back cover of the phone. Insert the memory card if you need to. Insert the SIM card. Install the battery. Assemble the back cover. Charge the phone. Yeah. Okay, so this is the quick start, guys. Guys. Oh, we've got this compliance regulation. English. Cuba declares that the product complies with the essential requirements of EU. That's all right. Very nice of them to include that to tell you that they have really gone through the regulations and stuff. All right, so this is the quick start, guys. Guys, keep in touch. Start here. Screen lock can be in increased. Well, I'm not going to go through much of this because uh, I'm an Android user, so I know most of this stuff. Making a call, quite easy. We'll have a look at the phone as well and what is on it. Gallery keyboard. Oh, it's got an intelligent keyboard, guys. You can guess what you're going to type. Cut, copy and paste, maps. Yep, that's about it. Let's see what else is in the box, guys. You ready? Let me just move these aside. I will go for the smaller one first. Done. Very nice packaging. Wow. Okay, so this is the charger charger cable port. Charging adapter. All right, so it's a Cuba branded one, not just a generic one, which is really good. All right, so this can this can do five volts at one amp, which is standard. So he hasn't he hasn't got a quick charge, but he's a budget phone, so that is what you expect. Very nice though. Very nice. This does cost about £70, might be less by now, I'm not sure. But who knows, it could be more, it could be less, don't quote me on that. And then this part, we just have the USB cable, which is standard micro USB cable, generic one. Cuba branding there. And yeah, I'm going to try switch this on, I don't think it should turn on. I might have to install the battery. Yep, I'm going to have to install the battery guys, which is right at the back. I'm not sure how you take the cover off, there you go. You have this little notch here guys and then it comes off like a normal case where you take it off the corners every corner i like the metal frame that goes with this uh, back cover it reminds me of my own phone already so wow look at that speaker guys look how big that is holy shit! feels nice as well really soft that's amazing so the back of the phone actually looks really nice really good build quality by the way thank you kuba again for sending this out to me i really appreciate it Got some sort of a code there sd card goes there sim card you can have two sim cards in this one one's a normal sim and then you have the nano sim all right let's take this out so what you do have to do is take this blue tab off otherwise you can't you can't make the connection with the battery which they do so you open the back and look at it all right so let's take this off okay see these connections here all right let's take that out bear with me guys Hi guys, got it off. I hope this has charged. It probably will. So the battery itself is actually 3000 milliamps, which is pretty good compared to the other Cuba phones, which are like 2000 and stuff like that. And they have better specs as well, which doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? All right, let's go ahead and put this back on. I'm actually starting to like this phone. It might be a budget phone. It's very high quality though. Very good build quality. I'm not liking the screen protector though. I don't like screen protectors in general. I've never used one on my Note 4 or anything. Any phone to be honest, because I don't use them. But yeah, this is definitely indestructible as you saw before I demonstrated. I will test out in other ways if you want me to. Right, let's turn this on. Yes, he has a, he has a vibration motor as well. And that's it turned on now. Qbot powered by Android, so it is running Android. Stock Android, I think, with the it's better to have stock Android because it's less uh, stuff inside it. All right. The he has a G, the GPU for this is like a Mali 400 MP I think, which is a really good GPU for gaming and stuff. Come on. Right, so you got the keyboard branding there. Still loading, guys. It is a quad core processor, but it is MediaTek. And yeah, this is the first initial boot as well, so that's always slower. 
All right, so we're here now. Yeah, this is a. I think this is standard Android. All right, so we've got English. Let me look for English UK. That's mine. So we're going through the setup now. In insert SIM cards. Not the moment. We'll skip that for now. Select the Wi-Fi. I'll connect to my Wi-Fi so I can show you something. All right, connected to my Wi-Fi. Just checking my connection now. Uh, I don't like the vibration motor on this at the moment, as it's not that powerful. But I believe it could get more powerful. It might just be a setting, so I'll look around for that as well. All right, we're checking for updates now. I think there will be a software update. This is running uh, Android 6.0 by the looks of it. Okay. Do you have another device? No thanks. I'm going to set this up as a new one. Very nice screen by the way. Look at that. You don't lose any viewing angles. The viewing angles are really good. Alright, Google. What? Don't need the bloody, you know. Alright, we're nearly in guys. We're nearly in. These setups take a long time. If you want to use another email address, not now. Uh, no password for now skip anyway okay it's nearly done guys all right so what what i why i put the wi-fi on here because i wanted to show you something holy crap that looks amazing yeah so this is stock android by the way with a bit of extra on i think yeah they've added a few apps of their own i think no this actually looks pretty stock all right so we've got this uh on button i think that locks it oh the screenshot no no, it's not. That go, uh, Google Home, if you hold that one, that's the Home button, by the way. That's your Option button or Task Manager button. Can you actually see the tasks? That just cleans it. That's really nice. What if I hold it? Nothing. Let's try this one. That's the Back button. I'll show you the notification panel. Wow. Wow, this is very difficult to pull down. I think you need to pull down with two. Oh, there you go. So the brightness, this is the full brightness. That's nice. Good uh, angles in the outside i think your d do not disturb mode data connection no sim cards inside bluetooth torch let's look at the torch that's a powerful torch i think it's 500 million power torch auto rotate airplane mode location hot knot hot knots like nfc but is a better version it's more faster you can use wi-fi all that stuff oh geo code has been removed that's do you see that guys google removed the app that came loaded on here I'll show you this now. Are you ready? I'm going to get AVG. I'm going to do a virus scan. Some of these phones come with a virus inside it. Malware. So yeah, we'll do a scan while I'm here. And I'll show you what it's like. But uh, newer ones, that, the newer Cubot phones don't usually come with them. And the uh, update does get rid of most of the viruses. So I'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. And I've got some next level ringtone on there. I don't know if you heard that. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, we're on vibrating mode now. All right, it's installing the app now. Okay, well, we got it now. I'm going to start the scan. See what comes up. Get started. Continue with ads. Come on. Do a scan. Uh, we have to do update first. Hold on, guys. I will come back when the scan is about halfway. Because it's going to take a while. Let's see how fast this is. So it's checking all the apps first that comes stored on the phone and then it checks your file storage. So far this one's doing good. I've seen videos of other Kubots, the older ones having problems with the malware. We'll see if this one does too. I don't think it does at the moment. I really hope it doesn't. This does look like a promising phone. I'm going to look for system updates as well, there might be better new updates out. Okay. Passed with flying colors by the looks of it. Yes, no viruses at all on this one. Very nice. Thank you, Kubot, for protecting this phone. Very good, guys. Very good. All right, I'm gonna make some more videos. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna make some more videos on uh, the performance and stuff. Go check them out. This has just been a review and unboxing. I really like this phone, it's very nice. Uh, you can do OTG on this, by the way, and uh, it's got GPS, all that stuff. All the basic stuff you need on a smartphone, it's got it. And it's got some more high-end features. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Cuba, for sending this out to me. I'll see you next time, guys.